question is, is Barbie a good or poor feminist role model? The answer to this question is, Barbie is a poor feminist role model. There are three reasons why this is true. First, Barbie's lifestyle, first, Barbie's body is way too unrealistic. Next, Barbie's lifestyle is way too much of a fantasy for girls to view her as a feminist. And lastly, Mattel has been working on Barbie for 59 years, and they still haven't shown girls that they can be anything they want to be. So many, some of you might be wondering, what is feminism? Feminism is a range of political movements, ideologies, and social movements that share a common goal to define, establish, and achieve personal, economic, and social equality of the sexes. This includes seeking to establish educational and professional opportunities for women that are equal to those for men. Now let's talk about how Barbie's body shape is very unrealistic. In 2016, some scientists took a group of girls. They split them up into three groups. One group played with Barbies, one group played with average sized women dolls, and one group didn't play with dolls at all. It turned out that the group that played with Barbies ended up being unsatisfied with their body image and wanting to lose weight. And no doll should make any girl feel like they have to lose weight. Next, Barbie is very skinny. Her hips are 29 inches compared to a normal woman's 30 to 37 inches. Her waist is 16 inches compared to a normal woman's 30 to 32 inches. And her thighs are 16 inches compared to a normal woman's 21 to 22 inches. Now, if you're Barbie and you're so skinny, you definitely don't need to lose weight. But in a slumber party doll that came out in 1965, the doll came with accessories, including a scale set permanently to 110 pounds and a how to lose weight book that said one page, don't eat. Many of you know, but anorexia is an eating disorder, where you think you're fat, so you starve yourself. Barbie fits the weight criteria for anorexia. Barbie is supposed to be made out as 5'9 and 110 pounds. That would mean she would have a BMI, body mass index, of 16.24. That is underweight and fits the weight criteria for anorexia. Now let's talk about how Barbie's lifestyle is way too much of a fantasy for girls to be as a feminist. Some of you might know, Barbie has 130 jobs. But most of the, if you if you have 130 jobs, then you shouldn't be doing this all the time. You should be working. But that is what she's doing all the time. Next, Barbie is changing how girls be professional. In an article by Timekeeper, the author brought the child a doll, and the child only played with Barbies. And this doll that she bring home for her wasn't a Barbie, and she was wearing khakis and a collared shirt, and so and she was supposed to be a doll that worked in finance. The mom ran home the doll and showed it to the girl, and the girl screamed and said, it's a boy, and ran away. This showed that Barbie is just saying that all professional women have to be wearing tight skirts. And, yeah. Now let's talk about how Mattel, the company, has been working on Barbie for 59 years, and they still haven't shown us that Barbie is, that girls can be anything they want to be. In 2016, Mattel came out with a new line of Barbies. It's the different body shapes. There are three bar bo body shapes, curvy, petite, and tall. In, 20 ooh, in 2017, Mattel came in 2017, Mattel came out with another line of Barbies, the Fashionista line of Barbies. And just a few years back, Mattel came out with a work line of Barbies. Now, Mattel has incorporated the different body shape dolls in the Fashionista line, but they haven't incorporated them in the work line. All the work line, all the dolls that are in the work line of Barbies are all the normal skinny Barbies. Thank you for listening and for more information.